Welcome friends once again in another trigonometric identity proving problem. Here we need to prove the LHS part means we need to show the LHS part and RHS part equal right. So our left hand side here is let me write our left hand side that is equals to sine a plus cos a whole square plus cos a plus sec a whole square right so what can we do here now since this is in the form of a plus b whole square and this is also in the form of a plus b whole square so I'm going to use the same formula a and then this is plus b so and this is whole square so in this uh, in, in, in the formula of the a plus b whole square is a square plus b square plus 2 times a times b so this I'm going to use it here right so now see uh, a plus b whole square so this c is equals to a square sine square a plus cos sec square a plus 2 times sine a times cos sec a and again same thing I'm going to apply here also means same formula I'm going to use here a plus b whole square so this is again a square right and then b square that is sec square a and then 2 sin a sorry 2 cos a times 2 cos a times sec a now what I can do here see sin square a and then this cos square a I'm putting together sin square a plus cos square a and now I'm writing uh, this cosec square a and sec square a together cosec square a and sec square a and then I'm writing this 2 sin a times cosec a uh, before that I want to tell you something here in the back side I want to tell you here suppose okay uh, okay fine that uh, uh, there was sine a times cosec a is equivalent with 1 right because if you see in that right angle triangle this is right angle suppose this is your hypotenuse this is perpendicular and the base then sine equals is the perpendicular over hypotenuse and cosec a is the hypotenuse over perpendicular so these both are equal will give you 1 equals to 1 so in the place of sine a times uh, cosec a I can write now 1 so here this 2 times sine a times cos a this is actually 1 so this is 2 times 1 that is equals to 2 and again here 2 cos a times sec a again I want to tell you cos a times sec a is equivalent with 1 this is our identity why because cos, sec, cos a is equivalent with base over hypotenuse right base over hypotenuse and sec a is hypotenuse over base right and see this base and base will cancel and h h will cancel out so you'll get 1 equals to 1 right it means cos a times sec a is equals to 1 the same identity I'm going to use here so I'll get again 2 right this is actually 1 so 2 times 1 equals to 2 now again sin square a plus cos square a there is another identity that we had learned sin square a plus cos square a equals to 1 so this I'm going to use here this is 1 here and 2 plus 2 this is already 4 and now cosec square a and we need to move to cot and tan and sec is here also to, so wh what I can do here that we have learned a formula that is cosec square a minus cot square a equals to 1 so in the place of cosec square a cosec square a I can easily write now 1 plus cot square a right 1 plus cot square a this minus will go this side 
right hand side and it will be plus right so now in the place of cosec square I'm going to write cot square a 1 plus cot square a again we had learned another formula that is sec square a sec square a minus tan square a is equals to 1 and here I can write sec square a is equal to 1 plus tan square a so in the place of sec square a now I'm going to put 1 plus tan square a right so here sec square a equals to 1 plus tan square a now let me count all the number how much it is 1 plus 4 5 5 plus 1 6 6 plus 1 7 7 plus this tan square a and this cot square a and this is our right hand side right hand side so left hand side is equal with right hand side so it is now proved right so like this we need to solve this kind of problem I hope you understand the techniques that I have used here and you like my video if you like please subscribe me uh, and next time we'll be meeting with next video that will give you more concept in trigonometric identity proving problems bye bye